We are continuing our series now on human trafficking, a Swamico man story, an ex-John who used to pay women for sex. But I was living a, a double life, and I didn't realize how that selfishness just crept into every single part of my life. Now, NBC 26 is Juliana Falk bringing you the story from the man's wife, who says she forgave him for what he did and is now helping other women with similar feelings of betrayal. Christy Paris vowed her life to her husband Josh. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. And stands by him even after she found out he was paying prostitutes for sex. Something many women wouldn't be able to forgive. I had to choose every single day to forgive him. Christy had no clue the man she was married to, the father of her four children, had a dark secret that could shatter their lives. I honestly didn't know anything about his struggles for a long, long time. We had been married for about 10 years, and um, I found out he had been arrested. Josh was arrested during a sting in Green Bay in 2014, but he says he lied to his wife, saying he had only solicited prostitutes one or two times, when it was really happening much more than that. I, I would have never thought that it would have snowballed into, you know, what it did. She found out the truth when she read his arrest report, and after spending time apart to heal, she decided to forgive him. People had a hard time understanding why would you forgive when you could just move on, and I just knew that the Lord had a different plan for us, um, and I was thankful for that. It didn't happen all at once, right? Um, there was a lot of fractured trust. I was living in an RV um, outside of our home, and then I lived with my parents for a little bit. Now, they're dedicated to helping others who find themselves in similar situations. Josh is helping men who struggle with sexual temptation, while Christy is helping the women who feel betrayed by their husbands. I just know that when I was hurt and I didn't know where to go, and the Lord did provide people to come alongside me to give me comfort and love and healing and sometimes tough words. She says she hopes to be that person to other women in pain, even if their spouse doesn't feel sorry for what they did. I hope that by talking about it and the prevalence that, you know, it's, it's out there more than we realize. And so I hope that um, people don't live in the dark anymore, that they choose to walk in the light and um, choose to get help. Christy is beginning a 10-week study with women soon at her home in Swamico to encourage them when they're feeling heartbroken and betrayed after their husbands do something like pay for sex, which law enforcement says feeds the problem of human trafficking in our area. Juliana Falk, NBC 26. And if you'd like to learn more about the signs of human trafficking or ways to get help, just visit our website. It's NBC26.com.